Good evening, and welcome to episode 29 of Bad Ideas with Thomas, where Thomas has bad ideas. Tonight, what we're going to be doing is browsing the darknet, or the deep web. And to do so, we'll need a smartphone and some apps, such as, well, you'll need Orbot. Now, Orbot is a Tor proxy that will connect you to the Onion Network, which is this anonymizing network that uh, was developed by the, I believe it was the U.S. Navy. And um, the only reason it works is because people use it too. And there's a VPN, or you can bridge through. You can, okay, so here in the, then you can you can you can run your other apps through the network. Or you can bridge if your mobile network is blocking Tor. And then here you can make it appear as if your IP address is from a specific country or just random anywhere in the world. And what that's used for, for, useful for is um, fighting censorship. Places like China and Turkey actively censor the internet. Um, for some reason, Al Jazeera, some of their articles, I'm unable to read if my IP address says I'm in the U.S., so I have to change to, like, France or Russia or wherever in order to read it. And Orfox right here is basically Firefox configured to browse the Onion Network. And unfortunately, um, this program I'm using to, to record this it is prevented, and I, I believe screenshots are also prevented on Orfox, just like um, things like Signal and Wicker also can block uh, block screenshots. And so I, I just filmed like five minutes of me talking to a black screen. So now I have to do it all over again. So we're going to go through DuckDuckGo, which is a search engine that doesn't track you and... Um, it's, it's okay. It's a clear net search engine, but you can browse, uh, you can browse deep websites and let's see, here's was, I just copied something from Orfox and I'm pasting it here. I see this, the dot onion sites, um, that is onion land. And I just, I had searched Silk Road just cause it's the most well known thing on there. So you, you can search both the deep web and uh, ClearNet on there. In order to search the deep web, you're going to have to enable Tor. So you go into the settings and make sure enable Tor is clicked. I always have that one running just because I prefer to keep my shit anonymous. Um, things like Google, Yahoo, Microsoft, all your emails, your location history, your search history. All of that is um, in a database, which they sell for advertising purposes, which is something I'm not a big fan of. Um, and a way to circumvent that and get a little bit of privacy back is to do anonymizing shit like this. Oh, this one appears... This one has... Um, under the region, it appears to have more than uh, Orbot. And I, I think that might be... I think that's for news. Let's uh, let's take a look. Let's go to stories and okay. Well, I don't know what that did. I think it. I think it's just that you can. Um, if you say you're from a particular place, they'll feed you news from that particular place. Um, I generally have mine set to worldwide on anything because I don't like news from any particular place. Now, you can check your Orbot status to make sure that you are connected. Yeah. And it appears that my IP address is 86. Blah, blah, blah. However, it does not appear to be the Tor browser. So you can get it there. So check out the Tor website. They got some other interesting stuff. The, the Guardian Project, the Tor Project. Uh, Electronic Frontier Fan Foundation. If you notice this thing with jigs up here, ProtonMail and Tutanote are both uh, encrypted email and uh, Signal and WhatsApp. They're um, encrypted communication. I'm sure everybody knows what WhatsApp is, and most people know what Signal is. 
many people do. And so recently the FBI chief was complaining that um, their mass surveillance is no longer effective because of default encryption. And they have been forced to go back to only spying on people that they suspect of committing crimes instead of on everyone. And so all their, all their massive select surveillance is uh, no longer effective. So we're starting, I would say we're not winning, but we're not losing as much as we used to be in the government's war on privacy. So all of these things, they'll, you know, encrypt your traffic, encrypt your communications, anonymize yourself so we can finally get a little bit of uh, privacy back in what we do online. And um, if buying cocaine through the mail is your thing, you could do that too. But I, I wouldn't recommend it. You know. I think that's about it. And I'm going to go find some other bad ideas to, to do.